Today, I am pleased to introduce a new item regarding the Chinese chipmaker SMEE and their lithography machinery. Previously, the majority of Chinese semiconductor manufacturing relied on foreign lithography apparatus manufacturers such as ASML. China is presently steadily developing its own IC design. So let us get into the specifics. The Chinese semiconductor journey began in the 1990s, with a focus on integrated circuit IC, design. The then newly established foundry model enabled TSMC and other contract manufacturers in Asia to provide their capacities, satisfying demand from the mainland's fledgling Fabels chipmakers. China has emerged into a prominent participant in the field after a 30-year journey accounting for roughly 13% of the worldwide IC design industry in 2020. Nowadays, the activity is taking place in areas other than chip design. Despite the ongoing trade and technological confrontation with the United States, China has accelerated the building of domestic fabrication factories in order to localize the most critical pieces of the technology supply chain. As the U.S. has suggested a tighter regulation prohibiting the sale of semiconductor manufacturing equipment to China, Beijing is doubling down on creating and producing high-end processing tools on the mainland. A lithography machine is essential to the whole manufacturing chain in the IC assembly process. According to some reports, Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment SMEE, a Chinese national champion in the field founded in 2002 by Shanghai Electric Group, is pushing hard to develop its second-generation deep ultraviolet DUV, immersion lithography system which could produce chips as small as 7 nanometers with multiple patterning. In this very lengthy research note, we explore SMEE's company, assessing upstream, downstream, technological skills, and the people behind, maybe, China's most sought-after piece of the country's yet-to-be-assembled semiconductor jigsaw puzzle. It is an integrator. A lithography machine technology research project was initially included in China's national high-tech R&D program in 2002. 863 program. In the same year, SMEE was established. Its study in the field was continued in the O2 Special Project, which was published in 2006 among 15 other national special projects in the National Outlines for Medium and Long-Term Planning for Scientific and Technological Development, 2006 to 2020. The Zero 02 Special Project focuses on substantial circuit integration and peripheral equipment production with one of the main challenges being the development of a homegrown lithography machine supply chain. The project brought together chosen domestic enterprises from nearly every sector of lithography equipment manufacture. SMEE has steadily been the major designer and integrator of a myriad of made-in-China lithography equipment components since the project's inception. Upstream connections are critical. The state compelled every firm in the Zero Two Special Project to exclusively furnish it with the most sophisticated technology and goods upon their availability, which SMEE greatly benefits from. To some extent, such suppliers influence SMEE's success, since its R&D team creates each new lithography equipment based on upstream achievements. SMEE's suppliers are divided into two categories, core component makers and supplementary equipment providers. Both industries rely heavily on intellectual property, with corporations holding hundreds of patents. For example, the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics, SEOM, a part of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, CAS, founded in 1964, supplies grading systems to SMEE. SEOM possesses approximately 200 related patents, and its researchers produce over 600 publications per year, the majority of which are indexed in the Science Citation Index or other prestigious scientific databases. Some of SMEE's upstream partners are sponsored by the government. For example, Beijing RS Laser Optoelectronics Technology, which specializes in light sources, counts among its owners the Institute of Microelectronics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and E-Town Capital, both of which are wholly controlled by the government. Some have their roots in the private sector. For example, Beijing U Precision Tech, U Precision, a dual stage system provider, does not have any ties to any well known fund or public institution. Its future expansion, however, appears to be heavily reliant on the subsidies acquired through participation in three large national projects. U Precision won a grant of 321 million Chinese yuan in 2019, roughly 2.65 times its annual operational income that year. Meanwhile, its operational deficit was estimated to be over 270 million Chinese yuan. 
Clientele and Product Mix SMEE has created for lithography machine series for IC front-end production, IC back-end advanced packaging, LED slash MEM slash power devices, and TFT circuit manufacture. SMEE's most sophisticated gadget as of June 2021 is its 600 series scanner for IC front-end fabrication. This machine can produce chips in 90 nanometers, 110 nanometers, and 280 nanometers process technologies. SMIC, Hua Hong Semiconductor, GTA Semiconductor, and Yangtze Memory Technology Corporation are among the companies that get SMEE's front-end lithography machines, YMTC. The eyeline lithography equipment from SMEE looks to be the most likely contender for the mass market. Aside from that, the fabs managed by China's leading IC packaging companies ASE Technology Holding, Tongfu Microelectronics, and JCET Group have all been outfitted with SMEE lithography gear. It is a shift in leadership. Rongming He is without a doubt the most important character in SMEE's history. He was a former vice president at Shanghai Electric Group Company Limited before joining the project as general manager and chairman in 2002. Mr. He's team successfully brought out the first domestically built lithography equipment for commercial usage after a few years of study with minimal competence in this new industry. He has now guided SMEE into a small club among the world's makers of these advanced systems. Mr. He quit the executive list in early 2018. This occurred shortly after SME signed the contract for pre-listing tutoring with China Securities Company, Limited, December 2017. That management change could have resulted from disagreements between SMEE's old and new shareholders' business interests during the listing preparation process. The firm received funding from several capital managers, including China Everbright Limited, Shanghai Zhangjiang Haqing Venture Capital Company, Limited, and High Tech Investment, the latter two were SMEE's existing backers. Gan Pin, who is also a vice chairman of Shanghai Electric, is the current chairman of SMEE. Mr. Gan has prior expertise with public firms and technological initiatives. He was the vice director of the Shanghai Science and Technology Committee from July 2014 until December 2020. Previously, he was the secretary of the CPC committee at SAIC Volkswagen and a vice general manager of SAIC Motors Alternative Energy Division. In addition, he is the deputy dean of the China Automotive Engineering Research Institute. Mr. Gan, who has a wealth of relevant expertise, might take SMEE public in the next quarters. The business has been preparing for an IPO for nearly two years. A representative of SMEE's optical system provider, Chang Chunup Optitech Company, Limited, previously said, link in Chinese, that the business did not engage in the current lithography machine development project. Another supplier, Beijing Guowang Optics Company, Limited, stated in a public job posting, link in Chinese, that it expects to complete its foundry building by September 2023. The optical equipment for ARF immersion lithography will be mass-produced at this new site. SMEE may not complete a new ARF immersion stepper this year due to challenges with its primary suppliers in this market. Beijing RS Laser Optoelectronics Technology Company, Limited, RS Laser, SMEE's major light source system provider, has produced the first domestic 40W for kilohertz ARF light source. Twinscan NXT 1980D an ASML designed equipment now used to produce 28 nanometers chips uses a 60W 6 kHz ARF laser. Now, Erslaser's team must make a significant technological jump so that SMEE can complete the entire machine on time. In the last few years, SMEE suppliers have also made some significant advances. Tsinghua University's IC equipment team and U Precision created a dual wafer stage technology in 2016 that could produce parallel reticle stages as small as 2 nanometers. It has become the second business in the world to assume the lead in fundamental technologies in dual stage lithography, breaking up ASML's technological monopoly. According to U Recent Precision's IPO prospectus, the business plans to create DWC series dual workpiece stages that can be fitted into immersion 28 nanometers lithography equipment in 2021. Photoresist availability used to be one of the most serious issues, with China relying largely on imports, particularly for the kind used in lithography equipment. Jiangsu Nata Optoelectronic Material Company, Limited has begun to change the situation by developing a 25-ton R photoresist manufacturing line. 
Chairman Jin Song Feng announced during the latest online performance report meeting on May 11 that the firm's photoresist has been successfully deployed in an ASML immersion lithography equipment, hinting to a product quality enhancement. We can learn at the end of this film that the SMEE and Chinese are attempting to replace ASML tools. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.